to or welcome back to my channel if you're new here i am yvonne today i am doing a girls talk video because why not i'm bored and i want to give the girly some advice so with that being said let's get straight into it i did in fact write down some questions that i think everybody would want the answer to i do have some topics topics are high school relationship friendships toxic partner personal things insecurities skincare and period the first topic is high school i know we like to get some high school advice even though we're like in february right now the first question that i have on this list is what classes should i take i take classes that can help me with my uh that can help me with my career i was like so deep into art me i knew i was like i'm gonna be an art girly i love art i still love art to this day but that's not something that i want to major in when i get into college take a class that you're interested in don't take classes because your friends took them because nine times out of ten you're not gonna end up in the same class period and you're probably gonna be with a different teacher and also you and that friend might not be friends in the long in the long run second question is how to maintain good grades that's a good question. <laughs> I'm just playing. Study is like the number one thing that can help you get to where you're supposed to be. In. And that is the next level and also graduation. I don't remember like the study methods. There's like so many study methods on the internet. Like we're constantly on our phone. So like use your phone as a resource, please. Make sure you're productive. Also turn in your work on time. There are some teachers who would put an NTI in there or a zero and keep that zero in there. Next question is how to take good notes. Take the notes that can catch your attention. I like those aesthetic notes because it's like Make sure you have some key terms in there and stuff because that can also help you maintain good grades. Next question is like actually something that I had to do with throughout my whole entire high school career. I did have like mainly good teachers but the next question is how to deal with mean teachers. Mean teachers you're gonna get them okay it doesn't matter what grade level you're in it doesn't matter if you're in elementary school you're gonna have a mean teacher having a mean teacher all you have to do is just ignore all the slick remarks that they make because they only doing that because they're very immature please maintain a good good grade into y'all saw that oh. maintain a good grade in their class because you do not want to see that same teacher again i promise you that the next topic is relationships don't fall for people who is always in drama don't fall for people who clearly doesn't want you okay you put all that time into that i promise you it's going to be mentally draining and i do not like that and i'm pretty sure you don't like that so don't fall for people who is a hot mess there are some people who are really messed up in the head show you that they're really good at first and then once they actually get you treat you like a whole nother person once you got once you see that first sign take that first sign and run with it okay and don't ever come back Another thing about relationships is if you do find out one person that is really truly good for you make sure you keep that person okay also don't look for a relationship unless you're actually ready okay relationships are they can be complicated they can be complicated sometimes but don't look for a relationship unless you are truly truly ready to spot a toxic partner if they take you around their friends and they treat you different if they treat their mother horribly mm -mm. if they don't know how to clean up after themselves mm -mm. if they and listen to me closely listen to me closely okay if they're clearly flirting with other people because mm -mm. it's just like you might think oh they're just best friends you know even though they're a little too touchy they're just best friends baby no they're getting down in the doomies and behind your back if they only used you for the yoink yoink then that's when you have to leave that is another red flag 
the third, uh, third topic is friendships friendships like i said at the beginning of the video they come and they go just like relationships come and go if a girl who is your best friend you do you dirty in front of a group of boys baby now here are some red flags and friendships that i want you girlies to know first red flag is when they treat you different from their other friends like girl when they don't how am i supposed to word this i'm gonna give you guys an example i'm so sorry <laughs> but say you're talking to your friend they're looking down they're like on their phone or they're just like constantly turning to talk to someone else mm -mm. they don't want to talk to you they're not your friend they're fake out there you go out they go i'm gonna turn this mirror part over because i keep looking over here so we're just gonna close that another thing about friendships is how to make friends me i am an outgoing person sometimes it might not seem that way but i definitely am ask my whole entire friend group me what i do is i'll ask somebody for a pencil ask somebody for help ask just ask somebody for help in general and continue to talk to them right that's if they if they help you okay because some people are just ask them for help you can talk to them drama if there is any drama in your friend group, be the mature person that I believe you are and talk it out. Only immature people will go straight to fighting. So let me let me tell you something, okay? So remember when I had to close my mirror thing, right? Because like, I can see myself right now. Because I did the rest of this video not realizing that my camera turned off next thing that we're going to talk about is personal things and i honestly don't know why in the beginning of the video i listed out all the personal things as a topic because it was just like like <sighs> first personal thing i want to talk about is insecurities we all have insecurities i have insecurities too but i'm not going to list them out if you have insecurities i just want to let you know you are beautiful the way you are if you have like close friends please for the love of god don't tell them your insecurities because once y'all bump heads they're gonna use that against you in front of everybody you're gonna sit there looking like this so just <laughs> So just don't tell anybody your insecurities, whether you're in a relationship, whether it's your family member, whether it's anybody that is supposedly close to you. Don't tell them your insecurities, please. Another thing I want to talk about is menstrual cycles. Girl, we all got them. Me, I cramp for the first three days. And when I tell you, first day, it's like, okay, like I'm getting cramps, but it's like here and there. Second day, oh girl, I feel it. Like, it's like somebody just stabbing me over and over again. Like, that's how bad it is. And I'm pretty sure it's the same thing for all of us. But just make sure you eat chocolate, take medication, get as much rest as you can. Skincare. I love doing skincare. But I will say, when I was younger and I started noticing that my whole entire face was just peeling, Yes, that, is, that did happen. My whole skin was peeling off. I don't know how. I don't know why. I started using Cetaphil, and I used it for my face. And it did it did work for a little while, but I guess it was like a... I don't remember if it was like a tiny bottle that I used. Basically, what I'm saying is make sure you find something that is actually meant for your skin. They do have some cleanser that is meant for dry to super duper dry skin. And that's like mainly the oily ones. And then they do have some non-oily cleansers for the oily skin. Don't use so much products because that can clog up your pores and you don't want that. Also, another thing that can help with like skin care is like washing your face thoroughly with warm water. And then ending your skincare off with cold water. That is it for today's video. Hopefully you guys like it. If you did, make sure to give a big thumbs up. And I will see you guys later. Bye!